Did you ever call anybody and they tell you no? Has that ever happened to anyone? I remember I called Sean Work and he told me no. I called uh, Frank Valente, he told me no. I called Steve Hillier, he told me no. Called, told me no. I called Jay, uh, Jay, what's his name? Jay uh, Kinder, that guy? He told me no. I called so many people. Said, what's wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with you. You just got to keep going. Our next speaker I called, he told me no. But a year later, he said yes to somebody else who fortunately I had sponsored. <laughs> Our next speaker has the fastest growing organization percentage-wise than anybody in the entire company of EXP. Yeah, wow, wow. Janet Caudel goes, wow. That is officially, I'm going to say it, a badass award. <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. It's badass. So he was... At one point, the number one windsurfer in the world recognizes the top, like, in the world. That's, that's pretty cool. And then he went on to build 10 kilograms from the ground up. I mean, from scratch. One of them went on to become number one in profit in the entire world of Keller Williams. This guy knows what he's doing in the world of business. He comes to EXP, and he's just crushing it like the little monster that he is. And by the way... If I call you a monster, especially you ladies, it's the highest compliment I can give you, okay? Don't go, he called me a monster. That means I think you're amazing, okay? So help me welcome one of my favorite monsters, Mr. Don Yoakum, everybody. Hey, Brent, uh, gosh, Thank you. And sorry I said no, but thank you <laughs> for... I'm used to it. Well, by the way, when Randy Bird called me about a year and a half later, I was like, well, all right, how's Brent doing? Well, he's making over 100000 a month, right? At that point, I said to my wife, who's in the back of the room, I said, you know, sweetie, I think we better look at that EXP thing again. So thank you for paving the way. Thank you, Gene, as well. Hey, you guys, Clark just told you to have a plan. I'm going to give you a plan. I'm going to actually give you three. The first plan is going to be your journey to an icon. And I saw from the raising of hands that many of you are icons. Let's see that again. How many of us have gotten the Icon Award at EXP? Yeah, that is awesome. All right, so if you have done this, you know about this journey, okay? But just for the moment, for the next few minutes, I want you to pretend as though you are a new agent. And so my first question to you is, what would be an ideal client for you? Okay, you have three choices. You can have a geographic niche, a demographic niche, or a property type niche. For the sake of our conversation, I'm going to suggest you chose geographic, since that's my favorite. OK? So, and I want you to think in the context of a zip code. The next thing is, how are you going to reach these folks in this zip code that you're going to dominate in three years' time? There's a headset there, so clue. One of the things you're going to do is call them. But ideally, you're going to develop a four-pillar approach, maybe open houses, door knocking, calling, direct mail. If you do all of those things in one concentrated area, you're going to get a magnified outcome, and you're going to be able to achieve the numbers I'm about to show you. The next thing I want you to do is time block the activities that you determined you're going to need to reach those people. If it's not in your calendar, it doesn't exist. exist. That's right. In this case, you need 10 hours a week. I also want you to get a accountability partner. I want that agent to be in a referral market to you, right? So not in the chair next to you, but in the most logical referral market to you. And I want that person to be a person that is doing what you want to do. So if you're a brand new agent, I want them doing one deal a month. If you're doing one deal, I want them doing two. If you're doing two, I want them doing three. 
and or get a coach. Now, I want to, uh, you see the easy button there, and I want to give GoGo credit. Many of us just attended this Alpha One Mastermind in Orlando, and GoGo had created all these systems, so when someone joins her organization, you get to just push buttons. I want my person to be onboarded. I want my database scrubbed. I want my database loaded, and I want campaigns deployed, okay? So that's now my intention, and by the way, as uh, Kurt was saying earlier, this company is amazing in terms of collaboration. She spent literally years developing her system, her site and everything, and she's willing to share, right? She's actually gonna train my team, and I have her VAs do it, but her VAs are gonna train my team on how to set this up so that people can hit the easy button and so once someone has chosen their geographic niche, we're going to get them the data for every homeowner in that geographic niche. We're going to match it to, um, well, we're going to identify the FHA and VA assumable loans. I don't know if anybody's on that. I've got two agents in this room right now that have put clients into, one was 2.65 and one was 3.75. Where is Amir and Russell? Raise your hands, guys. These guys have put their clients into assumable loans, 2.65 and 3.75 loans. Know that that's a viable way to add value to your client right now. We, we identify the FISBOs, expires and for rents for them in that same zip code, match them to Facebook accounts so when they do their open houses, we can promote it to several thousand people in that area. And finally, align them with the lender that's going to help sponsor that open house, provide a drawing, put up and take down 25 open house signs. All right, now, doing that system in year one, the agent will do at least one deal per month. Year two, two month. Year three, three month. And in our model, in virtually every market in our country, you'll be an icon. Pretty simple, right guys? You know, I've worked at a lot of companies, a lot of great companies actually, and um, I was a top producer myself, closed 51 deals my first full year in the business, okay? But what's different about this company is that they not only tell you that you have the relationship with the client, but they put their money where their mouth is, or their stock in this case. When you become an icon, you get your entire cap back in stock. And so if we were a law firm, we, you've basically made partner at this point. And so what you're gonna feel when you achieve that icon level of production is appreciation. Appreciation, actually I think Gino, didn't you come up with the icon program? Yeah. Yeah. I like you. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on to attraction. Now what we want is we want to take the same type of principles and strategies, but apply it to attraction. And it's interesting because a lot of agents can be icon level producers, but they're like, wow, you know, that recruiting thing's just not for me. Okay, well, if you can list a property, you can articulate an intangible value proposition. Gene, isn't that pretty much what attraction is, right? And if you're following Gene's script, it's tell me your story, right? You don't need a bunch of fancy words. What you need is a genuine interest in the person you're talking to. So you're going to de define your ideal recruit. You know what my ideal recruit is for the EXP model? It's an icon agent. I mean, gosh, folks, if someone is producing at icon level, and they are not at EXP, they're literally committing financial malpractice on their family. <laughs> okay? Really. Determine how to reach them. Are you seeing a, trend, a pattern here? Time block. By the way, if you want an organization of 500 agents in three years, coincidentally, it takes 10 hours a week. You're gonna need to make about 25 calls if you're gonna do it by phone. That isn't the only way to do it. 
but it's a great one. And you need an accountability partner and ideally a coach. Your accountability partner, what are they going to do? Be? They're going to be somebody that's been calling 10 hours a week. They're going to be somebody that's been recruiting two a month. They're going to be someone that is on a trajectory to have 500 people in their organization in three years' time. That's the plan you want to work. Let's follow in the footsteps of somebody that's done that. Okay, now, same thing. This is, again, I got a credit go-go. But I want my agents, and I hope that you'll want for your agents to be able to hit the easy button. So what are we going to do to support them? We're going to give them a data set of icon level producers. By the way, there's about 50,000 in the country. We're going to give them a data set of production teams. Incidentally, roughly 50%, 50 of the top 100 largest organizations, like you heard Kurt earlier, in EXP, what were they doing before they built this almost 3,000 person organization in Kurt's case? They were running production teams. So they're good folks to call. You're going to get a data feed of new licensees because you want to support those production teams that you just recruited. This, following that system, is going to enable you to have 100 agents in your, by the end of your first year, 250 by the end of your second, 500 by your third. What you have done at this point is you've proven that you can be an effective leader, and what you're going to feel is relief. You're going to feel relief because you now can step off that treadmill. Does anybody feel like that production treadmill just went on incline, like in May of 2022? Okay. Well, when you've built an organization, when you've become a leader of 500 professionals, you're going to feel a relief because you can step off. Okay? You can really work just by referral, maybe a few family and friends, because you're not going to need that money. But in your case, perhaps, I hope this for you, you're going to choose to become a leader of leaders. You would define your ideal agent leader. Now, if you were going to want an apple tree, what kind of seed would you plant? Apple seed, okay. You guys are not too quick on that one, okay? If you want a cherry tree, it's? Cherry All right, all right, okay. Now we're, we're on the same page here, okay? So if I want a leader, would it be a good idea for me to call someone that is a proven leader. How about not only a proven leader, but has demonstrated an ability, I call it the master skill of business, to attract and retain talent. Okay? Now, there's a certain company that has trained a lot of these. Uh, used to work there. Brent used to work there. Randy used to work there. We're all familiar, okay? And I actually, I hold great gratitude for KW uh, because I learned so much that I'm now benefiting from, okay, at EXP. Yeah, all right, so, but it's not just KW team leaders, guys, okay? You can call any good affiliate in any major market in the country, and the question to ask them is, in your town, who has built the most successful brokerage in the last seven to 10 years? And then once they tell you that, you need to know why they consider it to be the most successful. Is it the biggest? Does it have the best culture, the best training, the best retention? And then I want you to call that person up. Hey, John, I was just talking to Sam at Fidelity National Title. He knows Sam, they work together. I asked Sam in Chicago who had built the most successful brokerage in the last seven years. And he said you. Now, Sam, first of all, congratulations. But would you mind telling me your secret? What did you do to build the best brokerage 
in a market that must have, what, 15,000 agents? And now that's the, dream, that's the gene question, right? Tell me your story. Determine how to reach them. Notice how the, the headset keeps showing up. If you're afraid of the phone, get over it. What are you going to do? If it's not on the calendar, it doesn't? OK. 10 hours. You're just now, instead of calling icons and calling production teams, you're calling people that have proven an ability to build a sales organization. You need an accountability partner and ideally a coach. And what is your accountability partner going to be? They're going to be one click ahead of you, aren't they? So what are we going to do to support this effort? We're going to give them a data set of builders. Wouldn't it be convenient if you could join a sales organization and they could say, OK, well, you know, you're in the Northwest. How about here's 100 builders? Okay, Or maybe give them 50 and see if they actually call them. They don't always, by the way. News alert. But if they call those 50, give them another 50. Give them a data set of indie brokers. By the way, I wasted almost a year when I first came to eXp, because I had owned a bunch of brokerages, as Brent mentioned. And I thought, man, this is a no-brainer. Why would people beat their heads in with the bricks and mortar when they could scale a regional and then national sales organization on this platform? Basically enjoy the benefits of brokerage ownership without the broker liability and capital risk. But you know what those indie brokers told me three years ago? Man, I, it sounds interesting, but you know, I'm actually making more money than I've ever made in my life. So take a hike. <laughs> so I didn't get, I did get a couple of mirrors of the crowd. Thank you, Amir. Okay. But uh, for the most part, uh, I was not well received. Okay, well, as of May of 2022, things are changing for those same indie brokers. And now when you call them, they have a little bit different temperament. I just folded in a 50 agent brokerage this week. Okay. Yeah. So it's hunting season now. All right, how about a data set of coaches? We've got this amazing program at Success where we not only pay people well, provide them an incredible certification, by the way. If you guys have not taken the opportunity to do that, whether you're going to be a coach or just lead a team, I encourage you to do that. But what, and this is really the spirit of Glenn Sanford in this company. The, Glenn realized that coaching while it's very personally rewarding to make a difference for somebody, economically, it's kind of a time for money exchange. You know, and if you're kind of a busy person, it's hard to justify doing a lot of coaching because there's no leverage in it. Until now, because now, if you are a success coach, an active one, and you refer another coach, you get a 10% override. So you can make a six-figure income and overrides as a success coach. And by the way, if you guys want like the dream recruit, it's a successful business builder that has a heart and an aptitude for coaching. Okay? You get that person, it's money. Now, what did I tell you? You follow the prospecting plan that we outlined. You're calling 25 people a day, five days a week. It takes one and a half to two hours a day to do that. You'll end up talking to four. You'll book one or two appointments a day. 70% of them will show up. You recruit a couple people a month, okay? You're recruiting the right people. You'll end up, I want you to notice in this graph, you're starting at 500 because you began this part of your journey as a leader. After a year, of hiring yourself a leader, Jackie, thank you for being my leader. Number one, by the way, KWTL in the state of Colorado and net gain in 2021. So, I did the numbers, you guys. I did analyze at 20 of the top 100 biggest organizations in this company were led by 
team leaders. Okay, two of the top three. You guys recognize the name Gene Frederick and Brent Gove? <laughs> team leaders. Okay. When they follow that system, and by the way, you don't have to wait three years to hire your first Jackie. Hire them one month. You know how long it took Jackie to get her leader? 60 days. Me, I'm a slow learner. Three years, 11 months. Jackie, 60 days. How long did it take your person? 30 more days, right? She's now got two team leaders in her organization. Okay, year two, you're going to have 1,500 agents. You're going to have added 1,000, right? Because you've got, you're adding 500 per leader. And year three, you'll have 2,000 agents. Now, in our model, pre-May 2022, we had historically, we can earn about 4,000 per agent per year. But we were earning roughly, because not everybody caps, we were earning about 812. We're not earning that much now. We're earning closer to $600 or $50 a month. So if, if you've got 2,000 agents, it's 100,000 a month. Can you get by on that? All right. When you do that, you know what you're going to feel? You're going to feel grateful. You're going to feel gratitude for the fact that you have chosen to align yourself with what I consider to be the best risk-reward proposition, not only in real estate, but in all of business. And you'll be off the treadmill, well off the treadmill. You will help three others at least get off that treadmill. And uh, it's pretty cool. So in closing, James, I got 23 seconds. Okay. I just want to pay acknowledgement to a couple books. I had read this book in the 90s. It's called Crossing the Chasm. And one of the things that they say in that book is, if you want to have someone adopt technology, or in this case, a new behavior, provide a complete solution. That's why I organized that system for them and the data to accompany it. And love this book. I'm sure many of you have read it. We will not rise to the level of our goals, but we will fall to the level of our system and process. Isn't that what Dylan taught us on day one? And then finally, I want to also acknowledge Gogo because she really inspired my easy button. I hope she inspires yours. So this last quote is worth writing down. Your net worth will be determined by your network. Build a great one. Thank you.